Yeah, the um, the saddle, you can adjust the tilt of it, which is kind of cool, but I think it's too slippery. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another Sunday. It is... What's today? March 6th? March 7th? Whatever. I can never keep track of time. But um, last week I talked about my new bike. And so today I am going to take this baby out for a ride. So I ended up getting the Canyon Ultimate as my second bike. And uh, looking forward to riding it today. Yesterday it took me a couple hours to kind of set it up, not put it together. I had put it together earlier this week and didn't really finish doing that. And so um, t yesterday I took the time to kind of readjust the, the saddle height, added the Wahoo mount to it and a couple of other things. So today I'm actually going to take it out on for a ride. Really was looking for a lightweight bike uh, to do the climbs in and um, hopefully this will help with that. Actually thinking about riding out doing the same route that we did last week but because this is a fairly new bike I wanted to test out um, the gearing because I'm not entirely certain if I can uh, climb those steep hills uh, with the gearing that's on this bike supposed to be a partly sunny day high of 50 degrees Fahrenheit today right now the car says 34 degrees so I'm hoping that it'll warm up and uh, you know we can enjoy the, the ride a bit more first ride out on the whip and I was trying to pack a I was trying to do a bike like high pack Light kind of fell off. One thing I noticed uh, doing this, honey, writing this, is I'm kind of able to maintain a pretty steady power. Shifting from small to big ring is pretty easy. It doesn't really require a whole lot of effort. Oh man, shifting up and down is great. So, rented a mountain bike with disc brakes before. This is my first ever road bike with disc brakes. And, I don't know, I guess it's pretty responsive. Not so much to say about it because it is a fairly new brake, so usually that's typical with new bikes. ourselves in some gravel here in Easton. Uh, good news is it's rideable and it's smooth.
Grisers here, a really cute little coffee shop here in Easton. Um, I guess it was, it's owned by a couple and they pretty much uh, renovated this place. It used to be kind of an old building and an old uh, gas station, which they renovated into like a coffee shop uh, slash market and you could see like the little tchotchkes that they sold. So technically I guess it's not a coffee shop. But yeah, nice little stop, got some treats, got coffee, and we should be ready to head back. We got about 10 miles left to, to go or so, oh, no, about 20 miles, sorry, about 20 miles left to go. ride we haven't really did any ma major climbs uh, it's just been a beautiful day even though you know the s leaves from the trees haven't really grown back but it's just been a nice kind of calm ride <music> Are back from our ride turned out to be 39.96 miles so we're just gonna round it up to 40 uh, 3140 feet of climbing um, and it took us three hours and 13 minutes our average speed was 12.4 miles per hour and I knew it was going to be pretty slow since we had a fairly slow start we kind of just took it easy I was kind of finagling with you know the different parts of like how to use my bike properly what did you think uh it was it was a good ride um ended up being good weather uh nice and sunny got pretty comfortable for most of it and we got to do my new favorite climb at the end the hill road climb and joy was uh the pace setter on that one with her new bike and she uh thanks to her pace setting we both pr'd it so it was a great ending Woohoo! And also, Greiser's Coffee and Market is definitely a plus. Next time we are gonna stop by there again, hopefully. Um, we, I had the croissant, chocolate croissant, delicious. Um, we both had some of these things called uh, donut muffins. Donut muffins, and um, I also had a cookie. So, and good treats. Yeah, nice to have coffee as well because yeah, coffee too. Uh, it's a nice kind of pick-me-upper with all the climbing that we did at the end. Anyways, guys, 
I uh, hope you like this video. I hope to talk a little bit more about my bike another time, but for now, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.